Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. We're talking about turning your mobile device into a hacking supercomputer. Ever wondered how you can turn your mobile into a hacking supercomputer? Well you're in the right place. We're going to explore 10 insane apps that give you the tools for ethical hacking, penetration testing and so much more. We're going to break down each app, talk about its best features and show you how to use it like a pro. First up, we have Kylie NetHunter, and trust me, this one's a beast. It's basically a full-blown penetration testing platform that runs right on your Android device. We're talking serious hacking capabilities here. Now, Kaylee NetHunter isn't for the faint of heart. It's a powerful tool set designed for security professionals and serious enthusiasts. We're talking about a mobile platform packed with tools for network analysis, vulnerability scanning, and even exploiting vulnerabilities. One of the things that makes Kali NetHunter so cool is its compatibility with a bunch of external Wi-Fi adapters. This means you can really expand your range and get into some serious penetration testing scenarios. Another killer feature is the ability to create a man-in-the-middle framework. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sounds kind of shady, right? But in the context of ethical hacking, it's all about understanding how these attacks work so you can better defend against them. So if you're ready to dive into the deep end of mobile penetration testing, Kaylee NetHunter is definitely worth checking out. Next up we have Termux, and this one's all about bringing the power of the Linux command line right to your Android device. If you're comfortable with commands and scripting, Termux is your new best friend. Think of Termux as a way to turn your Android device into a portable hacking machine. You can install all sorts of powerful tools and utilities from network scanners to security auditing tools. It's like having a mini Linux server right in your pocket. One of the coolest things about Termux is its package management system. You can easily install tons of software packages specifically designed for ethical hacking and penetration testing. And if you're into scripting, Termux has got you covered. You can write your own scripts to automate tasks, perform complex network scans, and even develop your own hacking tools. So if you're ready to unleash your inner command line ninja, Termux is the app for you. Chapter 4. Androrat. Remote administration with a ethical twist. Now let's talk about Androrat. This one's a bit different. It's a remote administration tool, but don't let that scare you. In the right hands, it's super useful for ethical hacking and testing the security of your own devices. Imagine being able to control your Android device remotely. You could access files, monitor activity, even turn on the camera or microphone. All ethically, of course, for testing purposes only. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like something straight out of a spy movie, right? But trust me. There are legit reasons you might want to use a tool like Androret. Maybe you want to test the security of your own home network or see how easy it would be for someone to remotely access your device if it were lost or stolen. But again, a friendly reminder, using Androret on someone else's device without their permission is a big no-no. We're all about ethical hacking here. Chapter 5, Xanti, your network assessment toolkit. All right, moving on to Xanti. This app is all about network security assessment and it's packed with features. We're talking about mapping out networks, sniffing traffic and identifying vulnerabilities all from your mobile device. Xanti is like having a portable network security lab in your pocket. You can use it to perform penetration tests on your own network, identify rogue devices and even test the security of web applications. One of the standout features of Xanti is its ability to create detailed network maps. You can see all the devices connected to your network, their IP addresses and even the services they're running. And if you're into packet sniffing, Xanti has got you covered there too. You can capture and analyze network traffic to see what's happening behind the scenes. Just remember, use your newfound powers responsibly. Chapter 6, Hackode, your all-in-one ethical hacking playground. Next up is Hackode, and as the name suggests, this one's a playground for ethical hackers. It's got a whole bunch of tools for network analysis, security scanning, and even exploiting vulnerabilities. Think of Hackode as a Swiss army knife for ethical hackers. It's got tools for everything from port scanning to DNS spoofing to exploiting vulnerabilities. One of the things that makes her code so versatile is its collection of exploits. These are pre-built pieces of code that can be used to take advantage of known vulnerabilities in systems and applications. 
But just like with any powerful tool, it's important to use the code responsibly and ethically. Make sure you have permission before running any tests on networks or devices that you don't own. So whether you're a seasoned security professional or just getting started with ethical hacking, her code is definitely worth checking out. Let's talk about Desploit. This one's a bit more advanced, designed for network analysis and penetration testing. It's got some powerful features that let you really dig deep into networks and identify vulnerabilities. Desploit is like having a portable network security lab in your pocket. You can use it to map out networks, analyze traffic, and even perform man-in-the-middle attacks to test the security of your own devices and networks. One of the coolest things about Desploit is its ability to perform real-time traffic analysis. You can see what devices are communicating with each other, what kind of data they're sending, and even intercept and modify that data in real time. But again, with great power comes great responsibility. Make sure you're only using Desploit on networks you own or have permission to test. Chapter 8, Csploit. Advanced network security in your hands. Moving on to Csploit. And this one's for the more advanced users out there. It's a security auditing and penetration testing framework that gives you a ton of control over networks and devices. Csploit is like having a professional-grade network security toolkit right on your mobile device. It's got features for everything from port scanning and service enumeration to vulnerability scanning and exploitation. One of the things that makes Csploit so powerful is its modular architecture. You can customize it with different plugins and modules to extend its functionality and tailor it to your specific needs. Just remember, with Great power comes great responsibility. Make sure you're using exploit ethically and legally. Chapter 9. Wi-Fi Kill, the Wi-Fi Control Center. Now, let's talk about Wi-Fi Kill. This one's a bit different. It's not strictly a hacking tool, but it can be used for ethical hacking purposes. It lets you control Wi-Fi connections on your network, which can be useful for testing security and troubleshooting connectivity issues. Wi-Fi. Kill is like having a kill switch for your Wi-Fi network. You can see all the devices connected to your network and selectively block or throttle their internet access. This can be super useful for testing the security of your router or even just messing with your friends. But seriously, Wi-Fi kill can be a powerful tool for ethical hacking and network security testing. You can use it to test the strength of your Wi-Fi password. See if there are any unauthorized devices connected to your network or even just see how your devices behave when their internet access is disrupted. Just remember, use your powers for good. Chapter 10, Nmap, your network discovery and auditing companion. Finally, we have Nmap, a classic network scanning tool that's been ported to Android. It's a powerful tool for network discovery, port scanning and service identification. Nmap is like having a radar for your network. You can use it to see what devices are out there, what ports they have open and what services they're running. This information can be super valuable for ethical hacking, security auditing and even just troubleshooting network issues. One of the things that makes Nmap so great is its flexibility. You can use it to perform simple scans to quickly get an overview of your network or you can use its advanced features to perform deep scans that uncover hidden devices and services. And because Nmap is a command line tool, it's super versatile. You can use it with other tools and scripts to automate tasks and perform complex network analysis. Auto unleash your inner ethical hacker responsibly. So there you have it guys. 10 apps that can turn your mobile into a hacking supercomputer. We've covered everything from penetration testing and network analysis to remote administration and Wi-Fi control. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use these tools ethically and responsibly. Only use them on networks you own or have permission to test and always respect the privacy of others. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more awesome content. Catch you in the next one.